Do you remember Leo's ice cream down by Cricket Green? I certainly do. This photograph is uh, part of uh, a photograph taken by Eric Montague in 1974. It's reproduced here by kind permission of the Merton Historical Society. Uh, and I do mean that. I'm really pleased that they are allowing me to make copies of their photographs, both on my website and also in these videos. From here, the voices are AI generated using a website called Eleven Labs, which I heartily recommend. The voices of the people quoted in the newspaper are, of course, not their actual voices. Leo's Ice Cream Bar was at number 317 London Road, next to the King's Head Pub, which was renamed the Burn Bullock. The ice cream bar was run by Lionel DiMaggio. He also had a fleet of ice cream vans and, during the 1950s, was president of the Ice Cream Alliance. Lionel called himself Leo, and he used the lion as his brand. These photos of rappers were kindly provided by a descendant of the family. The lion was designed and drawn by his mother, Gloria. In the 1950s, there were complaints by residents of some of the newer housing estates in Mitcham of the noise made by the ice cream vans. Here's a report from the Mitcham News and Mercury of the 30th of January 1959. The battle of the ice cream chimes, which has been noisily raging for months in local estates, is likely to be a much quieter one, thanks partly to a Mitcham man. The Ice Cream Alliance, to which about 95% of Britain's ice cream vendors belong, have issued a code of conduct which should lessen the complaints about musical vans if it is obeyed. Mr Leo DiMascio, London Road, Mitcham, owner of a milk bar and a fleet of ice cream vans, helped to formulate the code. He is a former president of the Ice Cream Alliance. Now a member of the Executive Council, he said, some time ago we foresaw the annoyance that would be caused if the chimes caught on, but we did not reckon on it happening so fast. Most complaints about the chimes have been from local housing estates, particularly Glebe Estate and Pollard's Hill. Mr M. Hedden, Glebe Court Tenants Association official, said, Although it is winter, there has been no real improvement as far as the noise of the chimes is concerned. But it is in the summer when we really notice it. Then about five different vendors practically race round the estate. I did not know the alliance existed. In the event of further complaints, I shall certainly consider writing to them. The Alliance Code of Conduct says that chimes or similar mechanism should be kept at a minimum after 7pm. They must be sounded while the vehicle is on the move and at not more than five minute intervals. The volume should not be excessive. Tunes should be limited to a few bars. Horns or bells should be sounded only at a few moments each time. Particular stress is made on not annoying hospitals, night workers and nursing homes. The ice cream bar was part of a block that was demolished around 1980 and replaced by a building called Boundary House, which today houses the Job Centre.